Tonight, for the first time, you'll hear from a young man who was shot five times by a Portsmouth police officer. Andre Rawls, now 20 years old, says he is grateful he survived the trauma, but a loved one did not. Andre Rawls lives in arm and leg pain every day. His family lives in emotional pain. Rawls, now 20, spent a month at Sentara Norfolk General Hospital, where doctors treated him for five gunshot wounds. Family members say the shooting and health issues were too much for 71-year-old grandfather Henry Rawls Sr. My dad, he passed away October 1st from a massive heart attack. Seeing his grandson in the hospital being tased and shot, it took a lot out of my dad. Without Henry by their side, the Ross family Friday stood before a Portsmouth judge who is considering the facts in the case. Police say on the morning of June 19th, Rawls, while holding a sharp object, was shot and tased as he allegedly advanced toward the officer. Rawls says he had an out-of-body experience as paramedics worked to save his life. Uh, I just remember I was on the ground, had an out-of-body experience, and like the police uh, came and the ambulance came to pick me up, and that's what I remember. You see this on the news quite often. People being shot by police and not surviving. When you see these stories, how does it affect you? It's sad to see, and like, I'm, I'm glad. I I'm just thank God that I survived. In a brief hearing, the court agreed that Rawls is competent to stand trial, but because examiners failed to determine his state of mind on June 19th, the judge ordered another exam. Does it appear to you that your son was in crisis at that time? Absolutely. He was absolutely in crisis at that time. Rawls is under mental health care and physical therapy. The officer who opened fire is under investigation by state police. Rawls is due back in court next month on charges of attempting to injure the officer and attempting to enter a home to commit a crime. I have much more this evening on wavy.com.